Hey, what's up everyone? Now, I know a lot of Funko collectors are pretty broke after Comic-Con, myself included, but Funcon 2 is here, baby. So get all your pennies together because Funko is dropping some more exclusive products. Now, unlike San Diego Comic-Con, Funcon 2 is only one day and it's in place of Emerald City Comic-Con. That's why it's only one day and there isn't as many reveals as Funcon 1. I know a lot of people have social media brain and they're freaking out going, that's it? That's all the reveals? Well, you gotta remember that San Diego Comic-Con and Emerald City Comic-Con are totally different when it comes to how many items Funko releases. Emerald City is one of the smaller cons and they never have a huge lineup. And the actual term Funcon seems to just take the place of a convention that Funko isn't actually gonna be at and they decide to have their own thing. This time, it's at the headquarters in Everett, Washington. Here's some information on that. It takes place August 20th from 10 to 6, but it's still unclear when the actual online drop will be. I'm guessing it's gonna be the same day at the same time, but there will be an official announcement when the date gets closer. And you can pause it if you wanna read the rest of this, or go to Funko's website and read all the things you need to know there, like, how they don't want you to be a degenerate and camp out overnight. And honestly, in my opinion, I don't think any of these are worth camping out overnight. I don't see any of these becoming too, too expensive on the aftermarket. The first reveal, Muchiro from Demon Slayer, I feel is going to be the most popular one that everybody's going to get. Collectors and also people looking to flip it for profit. And honestly, I think that Funko is probably going to make a very large number of these. So I think if you really want them, you'll be able to get them. And initially, I don't think he will be that much on eBay if you do happen to miss out because I think they're going to make a ton of these. As far as the design goes, it's pretty accurate. It looks good. I do wonder if this will be the only time to make this character though. It might be, but I won't be surprised if eventually there's a glow in the dark or an action pose or something like that. They also revealed from Harry Potter a Pop Deluxe of Diagon Alley. Now this connects with other Pop Deluxe of Diagon Alley, so you'll need this if you want a complete set. Luckily though, it's not limited. Funko has done that before. And I mean not limited in that there's only 3,000 or 4,000, etc. It's just limited edition, not numbered. So the Harry Potter fans should be able to get their hands on this one. I can't imagine it selling out extremely fast or being too expensive either. And they revealed another one of these Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Power Ranger crossover ones. This time it's Green Ranger Shredder. And he looks alright. Not sure I'd be able to guess what this is right away without knowing what it is. Like if I just saw the pop. Because I haven't read the comic that this is from. But I like the idea of it. I got the Donatello and Leonardo, I believe it was. That they just released at SDCC. So maybe all of these Power Ranger and Ninja Turtle crossovers will be con exclusives. And I like that. You know, you can't just get them all at the same time. I'll definitely be trying to get this one. Just because I feel that if you snooze on this set, even if the price doesn't go up too, too high, I still don't want to be missing one like next year and have to pay 50, possibly more. Because then it does start to get a little bit expensive to try to collect the set like this. From the Ad Icons line, it's Lemonhead. Funko has really slowed down on the ad icons lately. A couple of years ago, these were really popular. Not sure if newer Funko fans like collecting the ad icons in the same way that Funko collectors were two, three, four, five, six years ago. And I don't think Lemonhead is all that iconic. I could be wrong, but I do think this might be a little bit of a shelf warmer. It's going to be interesting to see how fast some of these sell out if they sell out. It is cool that it's scented. It looks like the logo. It looks accurate. Just don't know how popular Lemonhead itself is. And probably the most unique thing revealed today is the Iron Giant 3 liter soda. I don't know why I thought that the big sodas were 2 liter. I think they are 2 liter. But Funk was calling it 3 liter here. That doesn't matter. I don't even know why I'm bringing that up. But this is basically the first giant soda. But it's only 7 inches. So not super huge. Just above average. But girthy. And it's a cute idea to put it in a 2 liter. And the chase is cool enough holding the car. Funko has made the Iron Giant before. So it's a little less exciting because it's not exactly a new character. But it is the first type of product which makes it collectible. And it's fairly limited at 6,500 pieces. 
Now, remember, they're releasing this at headquarters, at the FunCon 2 event, and also online. So expect this to sell out pretty fast. If you want this, you're going to have to really be on your toes because collectors and flippers alike are going to be after this one. Also, a Yogi Bear Blacklight Soda. Nothing too exciting. Hanna-Barbera Blacklight Soda is pretty predictable. Not sure anybody's shocked that they made this. Limited to 7500 which is pretty low for Funko, but even then, I just don't see this one selling out right away. She-Hulk, and this is the version from the new Marvel show. That's not out yet, but you see her wearing this in the trailer. And it actually looks pretty good for a soda. I'm not a big fan of the sodas. They're very hit and miss. But She-Hulk actually looks decent as one. The Chase is just a metallic version. But yeah, it looks like the first Funko product from the She-Hulk show makes me feel they're also going to make pops. So if you prefer the pops, you don't have to get this just to have a She-Hulk. They'll probably make her in pop form as well. And lastly, a very funny looking Jimi Hendrix. A lot of the times, if you already have the Funko Pop of something, the soda is a little redundant. And in my opinion, like I said earlier, they just don't look as good as Pops. But this Jimi Hendrix one really turned out quite different than the Funko Pops. It gives me a whole different feeling when I look at it. This one makes me smile because it looks kind of funny to me. And I'm not sure what the story is with the chase. There must be a bronze statue of Jimi Hendrix somewhere. Now, if you look at the sticker on the can, it's 15,000 pieces, which is super high for a numbered item. Pretty high for a soda. I don't see this one selling out. But going back to some of the other ones like Michiro, Michiro, Much I'm probably saying that wrong. M Muchiro <laughs> from Demon Slayer. If this Jimi Hendrix soda is 15,000, that pop has got to be like 50,000 at least or more. So don't panic. Just pay attention. Get in there on time and you should be able to get it. If you happen to miss out, I don't see it going up to like 100 or $200 on the aftermarket. Because there are going to be a lot of them. According to this chart that Funko put out, all of the items will be available on Funko's website. And the exact time and date will become clear as we get closer to the 20th. Overall, nothing too exciting for me. There might be one or two things I get. But if I end up sleeping through this con, I won't be too heartbroken. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. Thanks for watching and take it easy.